purpose does. The gentleman from Arizona, Mr. Grijalva, rise. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I move that the House suspend the rules and pass the bill, H.R. 2551. Clerk, we'll report the title of the bill. Union calendar number 411, H.R. 2551. A bill to designate and adjust certain lands in the state of Utah as components of the National Wilderness Preservation System and for other purposes. Pursuant to the rule, the gentleman from Arizona, Mr. Grijalva, and the gentleman from California, Mr. Obernolte, each will control 20 minutes. Chair recognizes the gentleman from Arizona. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I ask unanimous consent that all members may have five legislative days in which to revise and extend their remarks and include extraneous material on the measure under consideration. Without objection. Mr. Speaker, I yield myself as much time as I may consume. Gentleman is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise in support of H.R. 2551 introduced by our colleague, Representative John Curtis. This bill will adjust management boundaries to allow the advancement of the Bonneville Shoreline Trail, which, while also designating nearby U.S. Forest Service land for permanent protection. The Bonneville Shoreline Trail is a, is a regional multi-use concept trail that will stretch 280 miles from the Idaho border to Nephi, Utah. Currently, more than 90 miles of the trail has been built. Certain areas of the trail are currently impeded, preventing hikers and cyclists from enjoying the full scope of recreational opportunity it is meant to offer. With advancement of the, tra with advancement of the trail, of, of the trail will expand access to recreation in two of Utah's most populated counties and ensure that local residents and visitors can take advantage of the trail for years to come, which of course is a good thing. It is my understanding that this particular proposal has also been part of a broader discussion known as the Mountain, Mountain Accord that is designed to deal with a number of regional transportation and land use planning issues. I encourage the local stakeholders to keep working on that plan to solve ongoing issues and advance even more meaningful conservation protections for the Watchout Mountains, and I urge my colleagues to vote yes on the bill and reserve the balance. Gentlemen reserves, gentlemen from California is recognized. Mr. Speaker, I yield myself such time as I may consume. Gentlemen is recognized. Mr. Speaker, H.R. 2551 is a common sense piece of legislation sponsored by Representative John Curtis of Utah that would improve access along a popular bike trail in Utah known as the Bonneville Shoreline Trail. Approximately 326 acres of the trail are currently inaccessible for bikers due to overlapping wilderness designations. Representative Curtis's bill simply swaps those 326 acres out of the Mount Olympus Wilderness Area and adds an equal acreage in separate areas to ensure access to outdoor recreational activities. This is a great example of common sense types of bills that the House should be considering. It's locally supported. It's a solution that would allow for more outdoor recreation and enjoyment of our public lands. During a hearing on the bill, the Biden administration testified in support of this legislation. The bill also enjoys the support of more than 30 diverse stakeholders, including the governor of Utah, the Trust for Public Land, the Outdoor Alliance, the Bonneville Shoreline Trail Commission, People for Bikes, American Trails, the International Mountain Biking Association, and several others. Letters from these organizations state in part that the bill will help create opportunities for new extracurricular activities for students at a local high school, provide equitable access to the outdoors, and support local small businesses. The Outdoor Alliance also wrote a letter supporting the bill, which states that, quote, Common sense, modest adjustments offset by new wilderness additions can be an important tool for ensuring that existing boundaries do not create insurmountable obstacles to sustainable recreation in places where relatively minor adjustments can be made without undercutting the values that animate the Wilderness Act. We believe that these conditions are met here." Unquote. Mr. Speaker, I urge adoption of this bill and I, urge, I reserve the balance of my time. Gentleman reserves, gentleman from Arizona is recognized. Mr. Mr. Speaker, I, uh, I have no request for time, and we're prepared to, prepared to close, and I reserve. Gentleman reserves, gentleman from California is recognized. Mr. Speaker, I yield such time as he may consume to the gentleman from Utah, Mr. Curtis. Gentleman from Utah is recognized for as much time as he may consume. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise in support of the passage of the Bonneville Shoreline Trail Advancement Act. 
Today, the Bonneville Shoreline Trail extends over 100 miles and will one day go from the Idaho border to Nephi, Utah, over 280 miles. Unfortunately, the vision is limited in some areas and my bill would fix this problem and support its completion. In particular, my bill would release very small and targeted parcels of wilderness, often where the trail already has been constructed, and in turn designate other more deserving lands for protection. This win-win ensures the protection of this area while allowing for the trail to exist in appropriate areas without wilderness characteristics. This common sense approach is why my bill is supported by Utah's governor, the entire Utah delegation, multiple surrounding local governments, Trails Utah, the Bonneville Shoreline Trail Committee, Outdoor Alliance, Trust for Public Lands, IMBA, and most importantly, my grandson Jet, who's an avid bike rider on this trail. With, many rapid, uh, with the rapid growth in around Salt Lake City, it's more important than ever to support new recreational opportunities, such as the Bonneville Shoreline Trail. I yield the balance of my time. The gentleman yields, the gentleman from California. So by time. The gentleman yields back. Thank you. The gentleman from Arizona is recognized. I, I urge. Madam Speaker, I urge support of the legislation and yield back the balance. The question is, will the House suspend the rules and pass the bill H.R. 2551? Those in favor say aye. Those opposed, 